Developing now, a student has been charged after an incident last week where a teacher was attacked at Flint Southwestern Academy. The Genesee County Prosecutor's Office says that student was charged as a juvenile with one count of felonious assault. This evening, I spoke to the president of the United Teachers of Flint, that's the union in the district, about this incident. And she says this violence will not be tolerated. When I first saw the video, um, I was very saddened, um, disheartened. Karen Christian is a teacher in the Flint Community School District. She's also the president of the United Teachers of Flint. She says the video, which went viral on social media, shows a teacher being attacked. The school administration has not yet confirmed the video of the actual attack, but told Mid Michigan now last week they are aware of videos circulating online. We've had several concerns over the past couple of years with making sure that safety for staff and students is a number one priority for us. Christian tells me that this was an isolated incident. She's talked with teachers at Southwestern and they say in terms of safety, some of them feel that um, some of the situations have gotten better. Um, but there's not as many fights as there used to be. Um, so um, a lot more presence of people walking around, making sure they're um, where the hot spots happen. This incident happened last Thursday at Flint Southwestern Academy. The district says the teacher was released from the hospital the same day. And today, Christian says she returned to work. And my understanding is she came back today and she came back to applause and cheers and everybody um, welcoming her back and um, making her um, feel well and, and really showing empathy towards her. As for the student involved. So our understanding is that um, the student is suspended and the student will be put up for expulsion. Um, is the understanding that we received from the letter that was sent out by Superintendent Jones. Um, so this student will not be coming back to school. Flint Community School Superintendent Kevlin Jones says they are offering counseling and supportive services to those who were impacted by the incident.